Okay, let's try that again. What uh, this is a brief intro. Today we're gonna be talking about Wiz Khalifa, the youngest new legend in the game. Wiz Khalifa came out 2011. Uh, by this time I graduated high school. Um, Wiz Khalifa was Wiz Khalifa was hot. Like he was he was everywhere, man. He came out with a uh, black and yellow. He was popular early. We all knew about him back in 2009. He had this he had this one song. I forgot what it was called. He had this one song, so he was popular. He was a little bit popular, and he had it on the radio. But when he came out with Black and Yellow, he really became popular. And um, he dropped his second song. He dropped the second song, Roll Up. It's only the two songs he's known for. Um, there's a, there's other songs he's known for too, but they're not as popular. Uh, he has a two short feature. Um, the Chevy Woods from his camp and Currency. He has a Currency feature. Apparently, him and Currency are really good friends. Rolling Papers is a pretty popular album. Then he came out with O N I F C. And this reminds me of my high school. This always reminds me of high school days. Because I graduated in 2010. I came out about 2011. Um, around this time, I, I, I didn't know what to do because I was out of high school. I was out of high school. Uh, didn't know what to do, just wandering around. So we got only nigga in first class. That's what it stands for. 2012. I didn't have as much time to listen to this album. I was in college by then. There was too much going on in college. College is crazy. Um, Work Hard, Play Hard is a popular song. Oh, popular song on here. Uh, up, oh, and Remember You too. And that's when we were all getting introduced to the weekend. Weekend was under Drake at the time. Uh, Wiz Khalifa was also bringing in Juicy J. He had someone else from his camp named Lola Monroe. She's completely gone now. Um, and he was going out with Amber Rose at this time. So Amber Rose has a feature on here too. Cameron, the legendary Cameron, Akon, and another one of his artists, artists Burner. So he got. Two chains feature, Pharrell, Problem, and I am Sue. I wonder why Problem never came out with an album to this day. This is a pretty good album. I know a lot of niggas is like, what the fuck is Wiz Khalifa wearing? <laughs> uh, he came out two years later with Black Hollywood. 2014. I think this is probably one of his most popular albums. Um, oh, and I forgot too. This just made me realize. So Jeezy signed YG. And uh, Ty Dollar signs is under Wiz Khalifa. I think so. I think he is. Um, so he brought in Project Pat. Currency. He brought in Nicki Minaj, Rick Ross, Schoolboy Q, Nas. He got to work with Nas. I know two years ago he had an interview wanting to work with Nas where he stated he wanted to work with Nas and he finally got to do it. Uh, he got Snoop Dogg on his album. Jeezy. Juicy J. Pimp C. I added a song with Sway Lee. He got an early Sway Lee verse. And then Khalifa, this is a commercial mixtape. I consider this the album. Um, Carl Waiting. Carl Waiting gave me some good memories. I was at Doolittle 
when I was here, when when the, when this album came out. Good, the good, the good times with Doolittle, man. And um, we got a Rico Love, Bake Sale is the the popular song in here. It just br it brings so much good memories because this is when I was first using Instagram, and I was posting some pictures, and the pictures was going just completely homo. But I was trying to appeal to a wider audience. I had to redo the Instagram and shit. <clears throat> And then we had the song lit. And this is when I ran into my my grandpa on our, our mom's side. This one times is good, man. <laughs> memories. It's crazy how music can give you good memories. Oh, and I added uh, "See You Again," not with Charlie Puth, but a Chris Brown the Tiger version. It's only with Sebastian. I think that's his son. Uh, took him two years later and he dropped Rolling Papers too. Now definitely not as close to iconic as Rolling Papers. But um the thing about Wiz Khalifa is his beats are fucking crazy. Like his beats always sound crazy. So we got a Jimmy Wapple verse. Uh Jimmy Wapple died. I can't remember how he died, but he died. He was a young up and coming rapper and he died. Again, a lot of our rappers dying. Jimmy Wapo, Bankroll Fresh, uh Nipsey Hustle, Juice World, XXX Tentacion. A lot of people, man. We lost a lot of rappers. Um he got he got some person named the Moonlight. I don't know who the fuck the Moonlight is. Um I'm pretty sure we'll figure out. You got a Snoop Dogg verse. You got a Gucci Man verse. One of the craziest beats I ever heard. Sway Lee on the hook. Party next door. He brought in Little Skies. Problem. Bone Thugs and Harmony. And something new with Ty Dolla Sign. This is still a good album. Wiz Khalifa is one of my favorite artists, man. Just his whole vibe and his whole aesthetic. I, I do like it. He, he, he's clearly gonna be in the game for a while. So, this is his newest shit. Rolling papers too. And uh, yeah, Wiz Khalifa. So that's a brief intro. Wiz Khalifa is the newest artist on here. There's not too much to say on him. Um, because the other artists that I do have on here started way back in 2004. Wiz Khalifa started in 2010. And he got not only the, the 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 interesting thing about Wiz Khalifa is um I think he's the only artist that isn't signed to <laughs> any other artist. Wiz Khalifa isn't signed in, in, under anybody. He didn't sign under anybody to get to the status that he got to. He did it on his own. Uh, Drake signed Drake and Nicki signed under Wayne. Tiger signed under Wayne. Um. Who else? I mean, besides the legends, the legends, legends are their own. The people that I interviewed or that I gave a brief intro on previously, they're legends in their own right. But these new artists signed under under rappers. Uh, YG signed under under Jeezy. Ty Dolla Sign signed under Wiz. I can't think of any other. Oh, Future, Future, Future did his own thing too. Future ain't really signed into anything. He he he's his own boss. But um, with Khalifa is definitely a legend in the making. Very good artist. Anyway, 